Hi, I'm Susan, and this is Fan Tales, Stories from the Road. Last episode, I left Denver after a fun meetup. I met doggies, I met awesome people, other van lifers, and enjoyed a delicious beer from Ratio Brewing. Today, I'm back on the road and continuing to head east through Kansas and the city of Wamego, which pays homage to a classic children's movie. What's up, cow? What you doing? Yeah, you hungry? Okay, I'm heading to the Oz Museum. I'll see you later. Bye. because the scenery does not change. Uh, no slight to Kansas, but it was a tough drive because it was just a little boring, uh, the view. It's kind of like when you drive through Nevada and there's just not much to look at. So that's why today I'm really looking forward to doing something a little off the beaten path. Uh, you might actually say that I'm gonna follow the yellow brick road. So I'm going to finish my coffee and then we're going to get on the road and see about that horse of a different color. I just met the nicest man at the, um, the car, the auto store here. What's the name of it? Car Quest Auto Parts. He came out and put my windshield wipers on for me. I mean, I could have done it, but uh, it would have taken me a lot longer and he knew exactly what to do. And unlike some of the newer models or, or even older models, he was saying, uh, these went on really quick, easy installation. So yay. Now uh, I've got a new set of wipers. This will be good. Oh, and he also gave me a recommendation for breakfast. I'm going to try a place called the Friendship House, which is just two blocks away. Thank you, amigo. So we're going to start with one and see how I do. Oh, and then pure maple syrup. Yum. I'm looking forward to this. building with the eagle on top. Okay. Upstairs there's pictures from the 1892 Chicago World's Fair. A gentleman started an opera house there and he went up there and brought a lot of mementos back. But in particular he brought back, I'm going to say 15 or 16 pictures, Victorian lady pictures. Ah, and they I hung see. up there for quite a while and then it became a furniture store, paint store, you name it. And in 1892, they decided to switch it back to a theater. And when they went to remodel under the stage, they found all these pictures rolled up and folded. They sent nine of them out east to have them restored. Uh, six are on display upstairs, three of the finished ones, and the unfinished ones are in cold storage to protect them. They're better than four to ceiling and height. Probably, I'd say, from the corner to the doorway wide. Wow, so very large. Oh, well, they're beautiful. Okay. So. Well, thank you for that. So I appreciate quite, it. You're quite welcome. So, <laughs> oh, look at 
look at those cinnamon rolls. So we're going to start off on what represents an M's front porch in Kansas, known as the dull gray sepia tone. But once you go through that door, you'll be transported into the technical world of Munchkin Land. There we have over 2,000 artifacts and some original pieces that are over 120 years old. There are three documentaries for you to watch along your way, as well as a full film in the back if you want to refresh your memory. Do you guys have any questions? I don't. Thanks for the intro. Of course. Well, have fun in Oz we'll see you back in Thank Kansas. you. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that nostalgic trip through Frank Baum's world. Make sure to join me next episode as I explore another national park. Take care and see you down the road. <laughs>